You go away. Thank you. The missiles really need like a warning system. And I should know by now not to try to make sudden movements because they never happen. And I haven't seen a single power up here yet. Oh, good lord. I mean, either way, I know I can beat the game. It's just a question of whether I want to or not. This guy in the middle really has to get going right now. And those things. Uh, you know, if you're going to have a cannon fire that fast, you should at least make your screen distance a little bigger. No way out of that one. Fuck you, I'll just keep spamming lives until you're dead. I accidentally pressed no to continue. Uh. Like, I can't even predict ahead of time when that's going to fire. Because sometimes it fires after those, sometimes it fires before. Like, I don't know if it's timed or something. Either way, you need to die. Because I can take out those things. Okay, why are you going into hyper mode? Thank you. Fuck off. See, like the occasional laser here on the side has the little lightning bolt before it goes off and apparently hits me when I'm not near. Also, rapid fire would be nice. Not this like Mega Man fire thing going on here. Yes, whatever. It's like fire three shots, wait, fire three shots, wait. I can like hear it in the pattern. Also, you have to be, like, pixel precise to hit these guys. And the movement isn't, like, a smooth chore choreography. It's, like, like, if I hold it over, it's very stiff and slow. I don't like it. But I figure this game gives me infinite lives, infinite continues. Might as well beat it. I imagine the last boss will get a little ridiculous, but I can deal with that. Thank you! you take too many hits, and fire way too fast. Ridiculous. Yeah, die. At least those don't, like, beam across the screen. Yawn. Ah, come on. See, I wasn't fast enough to move away. I hate that shit. Apparently, no matter what I do, I always have 16 coins. Ugh! Windows!
All right, Windows 7 needs to have an option to remove activation because I've activated my Windows like five times and that stupid message keeps popping up. Every time I'm disconnected from the internet, it's like, please, please log on to the internet. Please activate now because I have a freaking internet fob that basically won't allow it to go through. Oh, and another thing I hate, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in rage mode now. Freaking Windows 7 when I open up my flash drive to, like, do anything, to, like, move files or whatever, if I pick, like, a, basically, like, a destination file, uh, there goes my power-up, um, if I go to open a destination file, it opens it in, like, right over itself. Like, so, both the windows will be, like, overlapping. That would have been helpful to figure out. Go away. Go away. Yes. Wow. Um, so basically, like, the folders are overlapping, and then I have to, like, wait a minute and unoverlap them. Let's get the worthless bunny can out of here. You know, I don't even know why they set up double weapon things. Because it's not like you're ever going to use them. Die, really fish monster. Wow, it only hit the boss twice. Like, I don't know. The other thing is, is that whenever I like go to open certain files, sometimes it'll just flip out and not notice the file extensions. Like, a program will make a file, and then it won't automatically... Like, even if I set it, it'll only set it for that file, so it'll be like, oh, this is a WordPad file. Okay, well, let's open it in WordPad, and then I go to enter it again to open up like a different WordPad file, and I'd be like, what do you want to use to open this? It's frustrating. At least for like non sand files. I just use WordPad as an example. Most of them are like obtuse video files like OGG and MP4s. Like, sometimes it'll just open with VLC and sometimes it'll open with like <clears throat> stupid Windows Media Player, which takes like half an hour to freaking start. But, uh, I don't know. Also, I have to say, this game has a painful lack of, like, a progression in weapons. So you can, like, see and get accustomed to how weapons work. It's just like, oh, you got a weapon, time to die. I don't know, I'm sure there's somewhere out, someone out there who could probably, like, memorize and beat this game. be like, yeah, oh great, now he's charging me. You could just be like, oh yeah, it's no problem. But as for any human gamers, not so much. Uh, it's weird, sometimes that timer is like ticking up, and sometimes it's ticking down. I don't understand it. I don't even understand what's the point of a timer if you can't if it doesn't keep time. Come on. Get into some sort of hittable range. See there I can hit him like once. I mean I guess if you're the enemy, you kinda want to do that. 
see, that time he didn't hit me. Well, until he ran right into me. I don't understand it. Uh, that was just stupid on my part. You know, at least if they gave you, like, two separate weapons, but they give you two of the same game. I'll do that. He at least shoots longer purse. Go away. See, now the... I don't understand this timer. I thought. That was really annoying. Days in combat. I guess that's what the timer measures. I guess that's supposed to be a time. Get ready. Yes! Oh, and a speed up, thank you. Because you know, a speed up is what I need right now. <clears throat> I certainly don't need better weapons that can actually, like, you know, kill enemies. That would be out of the question. Uh. See, things like that are the only reason why I don't go out of my way. To play. Oh, got the snake. And died. Awesome. Like, I usually don't go out of my way for bullet hell games because they always end up being like this. Like, they have that. Whatever. Hari Hogatai. Or whatever. Happy Hogai. Whatever. I'll just wait until these guys have done their business. You guys done? Get the hell away from me. Stop bouncing. There's nothing there to bounce off of. But, uh, I usually avoid games like that just because... the last boss. Also, the one thing is, bullet hell enemies in games like those usually have just discernible patterns. Like the one that was shooting the spray and stuff like that. It was like... You know, it would shoot the spray, but it would shoot it in a certain, like, pattern, so that way it had, like, one little escape route. Which, I understand that. But, I don't know. I think this game kind of doesn't know what it's supposed to be doing with that. I mean, space shooters in general are kind of a dead genre. A lot of, there are people who, like, I'm yeah, whatever, shut up. Uh, who's still, like, obsess about them. But, I mean, it's such a limited market. And I'm pretty sure, like, everything has already been done. And I really can't dodge in this game. I press directions, it doesn't happen. At that time, it's just me being stupid. Also, I have to be careful, because if I, like, tap it for, like, a microsecond longer, it kills me. Or I'll ram it into something. And 
also, those guys make their little chew sound. But then sometimes when they fire, they don't make it. Which is really irritating. Because normally you have some sort of cue, like a musical cue, or a timing cue, stuff like that, that actually make it interesting. But this instead is just like, absurdity. I mean, you probably could get through it, but it would be really tedious. See? Right there. That was completely off pattern. It bothers me. These little assholes die. That would be that would be great. Just me and you, ugly. Oh, plus one life. I'm sure that'll be. That'll make up for the, like, eight I've lost here. Uh... feeling this might be the last boss, or there might be like one more. I don't know if I can do one more. It's kind of boring. So far I haven't had any bosses change form either, which is kind of weird. Oh yeah! If there are 10 levels in this, I'm going to scream. <sighs> Level eight. If I have to put this into two episodes, I'm probably going to look at how many levels I have to do here. Oh, let's add indestructible asteroids. Also, it feels like there's no real, like, low low or rhythm to this game, like, some of them have where you have to move in certain patterns, and, how the fuck are we supposed to be after that shit? Like, move in certain patterns, or certain enemies fire in certain ways, but this just seems like, let's just throw fucking everything at you. It's kind of annoying. I mean, at least the, the background textures are somewhat interesting to watch. And honestly, your weapons are effing useless. You can't destroy a meteor. What, what the hell are they doing? You can't destroy, you know, regular ships. Like, those little purple ones, these ones I can destroy. Apparently that last one I could. Boss time? No. Oh no, it's Skeltron! How did that hit me? I wasn't even near that one. Okay, listen, Skeltron. Enough of your shit. Stop inhaling flies. It's not good for you. See, I could see a pattern. Then I guess I'm going to assume that this is the last boss. One jawbone down, one more to go.
Okay, sure, let's just add a whole new pattern. One that apparently just aims wherever the fuck it wants to. There's really not enough screen space to be doing stuff like that. Screw that. While you're doing that attack, I'll just keep spamming this. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, sure, just 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 keep firing. Non-stop. We don't even, you know need to care about the player's enjoyment of staying alive. Because fuck them, that's why. Oh, come on. Good fucking... Listen, Skeltron, I've had enough of your shit. I'm gonna blow your... I apparently can't hit his hands. Oh, Jesus! I'm just gonna fire at triple speed for no apparent reason. Understand why that would hit me. Yes. At least this boss is kind of multi phase. I don't know why they created gigantic space for a space skeleton. That just seems silly. So is that really all this there was in this game? Zara G. Okay. I don't even know why they needed to give her name. It, it never became important. For a name like Alpha Necronis, you should have not moved. This music is terrible. It does not fit the game at all. It sounds like like platformer music for like a Christmas game. Will we save Santa's presents? Like I could understand this working on like the PC where you have mouse control and stuff, where it's like much easier to move around. But like on a Game Boy. No. D-pads don't work well for games like this. You need a joystick or a trackball, something with precision, and it just doesn't work. I mean, the infant continues thing is nice, but I don't know. It didn't feel like there was any flow or interest to the game, just because you can just brute force the game anyway. I've never even heard of this game. It was probably like a European-only release. And I've never heard of any of these game companies, so they probably came out with this, and that was it. And speaking of that's it, that's all for Let's Play Invader. <laughs> with me, Morak Dias. See you later!